Big numbers. Times 256 was that from the cave, I think. So I did a run on this game, Bogging Air, where we played on the initiate difficulty. So we got to start with the chef starter pack. And tributes were 50% easier than normal. If we go to ascendant difficulty, tributes are still 50% lower than normal. But we don't get any starter packs. To increase the difficulty, we'll play on the danger wheel, which I feel like is much harder than pyramid. And because we're playing on a harder difficulty, we do get one negative effect. All empty board spaces start covered in smoke, which is not that bad actually. With the smoke being on the board, we cannot place anything where the smoke is. And we got jump rope, which I did find out from watching this guy's videos that it's really OP. Essentially, you want to remove a pinball bumper and you put the jump rope like right here. I guess I can't because the smoke crap. We're actually going to have to remove this pinball bumper and I'm going to put the jump rope right here. I want to put it right next to the wheel is the thing. So uh, yeah, that was a little bit of a misplay. I'm going to be completely honest. We got some interesting stuff here. I was thinking about going for either a fire boom build or a cave build. I think we'll commit to a cave build though, which could be pretty interesting. And we want to put the cave close to the jump rope because we could get some really good value out of this. Essentially with a cave though, whenever something passes by it, you get money. And whoa, we got some interesting stuff here as well. Clover and caterpillar. So if we go caterpillar, I think we can put it here. And it's going to take a while for the caterpillar to get all the way up here. Where we could put it down here. And the wheel will be spinning as the ball is dropping. And the ball probably won't hit this caterpillar. I think this is a safer play because... Okay, yeah, we're good. Jump rope is uh, carrying right now. Nothing here for the cave build. Let's re-roll. Let's just try to get a cave. Or another jump rope actually is pretty good. We'll put that jump rope right here. And the next ball is going to not actually hit the jump rope. I'm cool with that. I'd like that to happen two more times so the caterpillar is for sure to spawn. No synergy with the cave with this next reward. Let's re-roll. Again, let's re-roll. Another caterpillar. Let's do it. Let's put it here. And then hope that the ball just... Uh... Ooh, wow, that was close. We got another jump rope. Whoa. I want to put the jump rope here, but we can't because this pinball bumper's in the way. So we got to remove it. And then put the jump rope there. And yeah, you're seeing right now why the jump rope is so OP. It kind of makes the ball just get stuck in the middle. No cave thing here, but stone coffer could be good next to the jump ropes. Once it does proc, then it will move. And we're on to the next level, so we gotta choose one of these things. I really like Winner's Cup. If we fulfill the tribute 2500, unlike this next drop, for example, we get six rerolls, which is crazy. That is gonna for sure help us. Uh, nice our butterfly got created. Go fast so the next caterpillar doesn't get killed. Well, nice, we got cave. Very good. We'll put that here. And holy crap, we just got eight rerolls because we got the tribute done. Very nice. So we'll be able to reroll for caves all day when this caterpillar is going to survive too. And uh, yeah, let's get a cave here. Let's just reroll until we find something cave related. There we go. Another cave. And the goal here is to get a bunch of jump ropes around the cave probably. We're about to see when it gets to this positioning how good the cave is. Let's reroll a caterpillar. Uh, or we could put it here. Just hope. It's kind of a waste because like we could have for sure almost got another cave. But we are down to four rerolls. Okay, nice. Caterpillar survives. Nothing here that's good. Reroll. Reroll again. Reroll again. And final reroll. I'm gonna be honest, these all kind of suck. Minecart could have some synergy if we place it near a holder thing. And we'll get more into what a holder is later if we uh, do come across a holder. We got another jump rope, very nice. We'll put that near our cave system. So like, maybe here's okay. I didn't want to put it exactly right in front of it because uh, when this is facing this way, A nice our coffer got popped, I think. And so we'll get the treasure off of that. But yeah, when this part gets all the way up here, I didn't want something to bounce the ball away from the cave system. But the jump rope doesn't bounce things too far, so I think it's okay to put it in front. We got a mushroom, bounces the ball upwards. But where is upwards when you think about it? The positioning of upwards definitely changes as the thing rotates. Is here okay? I'm not sure. On Pale Chalice, we don't have any water synergy yet, but we could put it like here to buff our cave system. Sure, we'll just do that and we could remove it later. Got 
rope. Yeah, you're saying how strong the jump rope is on the wheel. On that ball, I barely miss a caterpillar. So the caterpillar turns into a butterfly. Very nice. We got another caterpillar potentially. And I'm feeling lucky. I think it's worth. And we're on a level. Receipt is going to give us 800 for each butterfly. Every drop. So we might as well just go for that. 800 for those two. And then this one is going to give us 800 as well. And just like that, we're almost at 5k. Uh, not quite. Another jump rope. Is here okay? Sure. Oh, and our caterpillar gets destroyed. Oopsie daisy. And we completed the tributes, so we got seven rerolls. Very nice. Not seeing anything here that's too good. The dam is interesting. Some water ball synergy, and it's rare. We're just not going for a water build. Reroll for a cave, yes. That's what we want. Put it up there. You saw the butterfly hit three caves, which gave it more value. Another caterpillar. We could put that behind this butterfly and hope. If it does work out, then it's another ball and another 800 for each drop. I think it's worth to risk it. We've only got screwed on that once. No cave here. Let's reroll. I'm not only looking for a cave on these rerolls. There's something that has synergy with cave. Oh, we got another cave. Nice. We'll put this cave here, and then we might eventually move that jump rope. We got a rare trash can, a rare chicken. None of this stuff has synergy though. Let's reroll. And we'll take the mushroom, I guess. Just put on the outer edge, sure. And yeah, we're at the cap. And it's good because that ball did nothing. Parachute. I'm not sure where you should put that on the wheel. Probably just on the edge, because the ball will hit the parachute, right? And then uh oh, we're gonna miss the caterpillar. I think so. There's actually a chance that the ball will come back up with the parachute and spot the caterpillar. Like here? Oh, that was close. Another jump rope? Sure. I can't put it on the outer edge. So let's remove this one and put it out here. Gain five removals. Spawners invert the gravity. Gain five rerolls. That's all pretty trash. We'll take the rerolls. Caterpillar does survive. Very nice. And we got the tribute already, so we're going to get a crazy amount of rerolls. We're up to 13. Nothing here is cave. Keep going for cave. Gold mine is what we were after. It's a rare. And I want to put this right here, I think, or here. Earn 400 when it's bonked. Spawn one coin ball for each chain consecutively bonked before it. I actually think I'm going to remove this cave, and then I'm going to put it right towards the middle. And that should start spawning a bunch of coin balls. None here, unfortunately but we don't actually need it. We're done with the tribute. We got another jump rope. Which we could put like where this mushroom is, but we only have one more removal. Let's just not, let's uh, reroll. Pinball bumper is actually not bad. I would kind of like to put it on the edge here to bump the balls towards these caves. Let's actually do that. Let's put the pinball bumper here. All right, nothing here that's looking too good. Egg carton is interesting. We could put that near the gold mine instead of this chalice thing. And we could get eight times from the gold mine. Unfortunately, we have no more removals. So we could only put it here, I guess. It's actually a pretty good spot. Let's do it. Now we just need to find a chicken. I will say the positioning of this gold mine was a little bit questionable because, okay, we got another cave. Very nice. The balls have to hit the caves first. So when it's in this position, we're not going to get value from the gold mine. We're only going to get value once the caves are above the gold mine. So we have like butterflies under it, spawning upwards. That makes sense. We got our pinball bumper. Let's put it here, I think. I just want to bounce the balls towards the caves. Caterpillar again. Is it getting kind of late for the caterpillar? Kinda. What about the dart trap? We put it like here. This thing's kind of interesting. If a ball hits it, it's going to spawn darts from the edge of the screen. And yeah, they can hit the... Uh... Oh, I like that actually. They can hit our cave system. All right, nothing here. It's looking too good. Reroll. Reroll again. And pinball bumper. We could put the pinball bumper like here. Remove this jump rope. But we're only at one removal. So let's just reroll. Let's just keep going until we find something good. Okay, sure. Put 
that here, I guess. And then multiply all earnings by one times. Whenever an extra trigger draft is gained, increase it by 0.1. Whenever an extra trigger draft is gained, what does that mean? Any trigger on the bottom row scores two times. What does that even mean though as well? I think the bottom row is the outside because you can put anchors anywhere on the outside and you only can put them on the bottom row. We only have one cable in the bottom row. That's not really going to help us too much. Growth serum is rare. I'm just not reading that right, so I don't know what it does exactly. We'll uh, try to figure that out though. That's why I wish I was streaming so I could have some guidance here. Reroll this. Reroll again. Bomb Goblin isn't actually that bad because we could put it near the cave system and it can blow up and then send things in the cave. Let's put it here. I'm just not finding that much stuff that's like helping us that much. Holy crap. We already destroyed half of the Bomb Goblin just now. Jeez. Their gold mine is fantastic. We could put that on the opposite side of the caves. Is that the place to put it? I don't know. I'm like getting instant regret after I laid it down. But uh, it's okay. Let's reroll. We got a bunch of rerolls left. The lake is interesting. We put that above the chalice. I think we're going to remove the chalice. Screw the chalice. Spawn a coin ball for each distinct carryable the ball is carrying. And nothing here is looking good. Our trap again. We could put that on the same level as the caves. Or like kind of far away. Like here. It's fine. Our bomb's about to blow. It's at one left. Let's re-roll here. Another jump rope. Could put that in here, I guess. It's not the worst, right? We only have two re-rolls left, so chances are we might not get anything good. Another bomb goblin. I like putting that in this area. So we can blow up towards the cave system. Yeah, sure. It'll only blow up towards the cave system when it's in that exact position, though, right? Kinda. I don't know. I'm really liking those... Uh, oh nice, Bomb Goblin goes off. I guess it's kind of bad, because we already won this level. Well, what the heck is going on here? What is the freaking value we're getting out these caves? I'm seeing times 8. Jeez, we just got 10 times the tribute. And here we go, Stone Coffer has synergy with Growth Serum. Whenever an extra trigger draft is gained, increase it by 0.1. So if we put down the Stone Coffer, do we just get 0.1? I mean, we'll put it down here. Might as well. And we do get 0.1 because the stone coffer got hit, I think. Bonk by fireball. Launch a firecracker ball, which explodes, raining down fireballs. We could put this near the bomb goblins, like on the opposite side though from the cave, because it's just going to go straight up. So we don't need it near the cave. This stuff's all pretty bad. I would say just go for the rerolls. We got another pale chalice. Eh, that's trash. We're just going to skip that. No more pale chalice, please. Bad drop here though, we didn't get it on the side of our caves. Another gold mine though, that makes up for it. Where do we put this? Where are the chalices I think? Let's remove that stupid chalice, it's never going to get filled up. Another bad drop, unfortunate. Crystal ball is good. If we don't bonk it, we get to choose from four things. So we'll just put it in a spot where it's probably not going to get bonked anytime soon. There we go. Dark thing coming in clutch. And we finally got a coin ball from the gold mine. Museum's pretty good. When a treasure is removed from the board, like the stone coffers, I think every time the stone coffers hit, maybe, or maybe we have to actually remove the stone coffer and we have to use removal for it. Top hat actually could be good if we put it over here near our cave system. Ball carrying the top hat cause a coin ball to spawn from our gold mines. It will spawn another one. Let's put that here. I have no idea what's going on. Bomb Goblin goes boom. Oh yeah. So we beat the tribute. We got 12 rerolls. Very nice. Our Bomb Goblin. I kind of like Bomb Goblin at this point. Let's put that like here. Sure. It's not too close to the cave system, but I want to keep space for like a chicken, for example. And I could have probably rerolled for a chicken, maybe. We're kind of at the point where we probably should try to get a chicken going. 
Bear trap is actually something that's kind of growing on me. Let's put that over here because we don't have a whole lot of stuff on the right side. So in case the ball just a uh, uh, thing was carrying a top hat and then it spawned the coins. Oh yeah, it's looking pretty good. I used to really not be a fan of Bomb Goblin, but I will say on this map in particular, I think it's really good. Let's reroll. Rainbow. We put that near the middle, like somewhere over towards our cave system, or like even here. Something's always going to hit that rainbow, probably. Like this ball is going to almost. No. On the pyramid level, you want to put the rainbow at the very top, because the ball will always hit it. But here it's different, I think. We finally got our chicken, or we got an axe, so both really good. Do we think we can fill up the egg carton with the chicken, though? If we put it, like, here, then we'll get, like, a couple eggs. I kind of want to go for it, because it could be a fun meme. Let's remove this jump rope. Try the chicken. Whenever you reroll, all limited triggers gain one charge. Oh, that's perfect, because that synergizes with the chicken. We can fill it up a bunch with rerolls. And the egg misses the egg carton when it was in, like, the perfect spot, really. Not a fan of that. When it actually went into the egg carton eventually, I think. I wasn't paying attention. Armored car is actually kind of interesting. When the ball bunks a mover, spawn a coin ball. A mover is like a jump rope or a pinball bumper, something like that. So one would think it'd be good to put the armored car somewhere towards the middle. I don't think that's too terrible. You can see it spawned a coin ball instantly. And then actually, yeah, every time the ball carrying that armored car hits a mover, it spawns another coin. So you're going to get tons of coins from that. I haven't been putting armored car high enough value, I think. An investment bonk. Oh yeah, let's put that near our cave system. That could almost be better than the egg carton, but we're not going to remove the egg carton. Don't worry. What if I put investment bonk like here, remove that cave? I'm actually kind of a fan of doing that. Let's do it. Put that here. Let's try to boost the value of all those caves nearby. Pale Chalice again. Those coffers are trolling, man. I don't want Pale Chalice. I mean, I do want Pale Chalice. Pale Chalice is amazing. Give me another Pale Chalice. Totally. We hit the limit, so we got more rerolls. Another gold mine. Holy crap. Let's put that here. This is the build, you guys. This is the type of video that I've been trying to search for. Not this build in particular, but like something that goes really hard on a specific build, you know? I've been looking on YouTube and I haven't really been seeing videos like this. So I gotta make my own. I don't know if I'm gonna watch my own video, but... I kinda think that's how YouTube is a little bit. You see like a need for something and you go for it. Let's reroll. Another chicken. More chances to fill up the egg carton. Put it like here. And it's about to get to a point where it's going to drop right in. Yeah, let's do it. Holy moly, what is going on? We got more growth serum. I don't know why we're getting that. What does that even do? 1.5 times? So everything is multiplied by 1.5 times now. Because of growth serum. We got an advanced with bonk, very nice. Another investment bonk. What the heck is filling up growth serum though? Whenever an extra trigger draft is green, I don't know what that means, dude. Some of the comments hopefully can explain it. We got another cave. We don't have any removals, so we don't really have a place to put it. Could just put it here and maybe eventually put another cave here. Sure, why not? Empyrean egg, that's actually pretty good. Finally got a good treasure from the stone coffer. And we can't actually put it anywhere that's good. I want to put it like in this area because this is where all our value is. But uh, yeah, we're just going to skip it, actually. We got another one. Nah. Another pale chalice. Okay, you're trolling. You just had to give me the pale chalice. Another egg carton. Just don't have a place for it though, right? Kind of like top hat though. We could even put it on the opposite side of the caves. We could actually put this near the armored car. This could cause a crazy amount of uh, coins to spawn off of that. The ball hits both of those, right? We got an axe or another chicken. Increase the chance that we get the eggs into the carton. Sure, let's do it. I mean, it's eight times value for everything nearby. So it's really worth to get. Remove a trigger, gain a draft. We don't have any removals, so that's trash. Blocks this top of the screen. Yeah, I think that's good. 
Let's do that, because we have a bunch of butterflies. I'm watching that egg carton. I'm not seeing any eggs hitting it. This chicken's almost done for us, so we gotta use rerolls to fill up the chicken. Every time we reroll, it gets another charge. So let's only go for something if it's really good. Like armored car is actually one of my favorite things right now. Let's go for that. We'll have to reroll next round. Or next time something hits the chicken, I guess. Yeah, armored car is clutch, dude. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That drop was looking not so good until the armored car got hit. Got to reroll to fill up the chicken. Windmill is good. Really good, actually. Yeah, we got to get the windmill. We don't have any removals, though, unfortunately. Put the windmill, like, here, I guess. I'd like to put it over here. Like, if we put it next to the egg carton and the egg carton was filled, that'd be amazing. Let's put it there, though. And we'll put the uh, egg next to it, sure. The windmill is getting 330 because of our gross serum. If it gets hit by anything, which right now it's not. There we go, got hit just once, I think, or twice. Got hit again. Very nice. Big value from that. Some okay stuff here, but let's fill up the chickens. I just want to see that chicken hit the egg carton. Gold mine. Ooh, we gotta go for that, right? No removals, though. The spot's not that good for it, but we'll put it there anyways. Our egg, we'll put that on the outside. Just in case. We'll get, like, some more caves down here. Could happen, you never know. Another windmill, jeez. How are chickens doing? 3, 11, 12. So we got some time. Let's put the windmill here, sure. We only got two balls left, by the way. So we gotta actually, uh, step it up a little bit, jeez. There we go, beat the tribute. Okay, I tell our setup to step it up and they went hard there and they put an egg in the egg carton. Very nice. We're a little bit behind on that, but uh... On our chicken got bonked twice, I think, so it got removed. Crap. Well, we could reroll for another chicken, maybe. We'll fill up other ones. Sure, just give me a chicken. Just wanna fill up- oh man, stormy weather. You almost gotta go for stormy weather when you get it right. Yeah, I feel like it's just way too good. You can literally put it anywhere, and it's gonna have value. I actually didn't want it to pop it here, because we're about to beat this level. So now we're gonna have to wait another four or five turns for it to come back. Yeah, we're definitely stepping it up. We got four eggs in the egg carton. We're not going to get there, I think. I don't know how you'd fill up an egg carton in this level. It seems hopeless. But maybe I'm just uh, not going at it with the right mentality. Another egg carton? No. We're <laughs> trying hard enough to fill up one egg carton. Let alone two. There we go. Chicken. We have no removals, though. It's like, where we put this stupid chicken? Let's put it in here, I guess. Egg. Sure, next to the windmills. It's fine. Chicken positioning was bad when I put it down, but it's about to be okay. I think it just got bonked twice, by the way. I'm watching a chicken. It got bonked again. Did we get one in the carton? Let's reroll for chickens. Oh, windmill, though. Like, how do we pass on windmill? I'll show you how we do that. Piggy bonk's good. We're getting a lot of coins, but I don't know. It's kind of too late for piggy bonk. Um, rainbow's good at all stages. Limited triggers consume a charge like our chickens. Spawn a ghost ball. Our balls that exit the board without bonking will respawn. If our chickens are on the bottom, that means they'll respawn at the top maybe. And there's a higher chance to hit our egg carton. Yeah, I want to try that out. I used to think boomerang was terrible, but I really do think that if the chicken is at the very bottom, we'll see some value out of it. The other stuff wasn't that good anyways, like spawning a ghost ball. It's okay. We got our chicken. And we do have a removal. Let's use our removal 
here, I guess. We'll put the chicken there. I don't know. There we go. Oh yeah, we're filling it. Oh yeah, we got like three or four eggs. We got like five eggs in that thing just now. Yes. It's huge. There we go, and we filled it. Beautiful. You love to see it. So now everything that the egg carton is touching is getting eight times value. It's crazy OP if you can fill that up. And now we could potentially remove the chickens and put more caves in there. But we don't have any removals. There was a thing where removals and rerolls can be used interchangeably. I maybe should have gone for that. Armored car, we gotta go for that, right? Oh yeah, I think we definitely won here. Pretty sure it's the final level. We still got four more drops. Spawn a coin ball for each carry ball it's carrying. You could put that near the armored cars. You'd want to put that towards the middle though, right? There's no place for something like that, I think. So I'm missing something. Let's just reroll. Just keep rerolling until we get something amazing. The windmill, is that amazing? We don't have any spots for it. Just keep rerolling. Another gold mine? I mean, uh, I don't know. Just keep rerolling. I don't even know what I'm looking for at this point, honestly. We got a brick. We're gonna settle for a brick. Okay. What's going on over here? I'm seeing 900 times 16. I'm not really sure what to think about this whole situation. The problem with our setup is like, we need to remove the chickens mainly right now. If those were all caves, we'd be getting huge numbers. We're still getting good numbers, don't get me wrong, but it's like, if we just had the removals, we'd be in really good business. And the windmills are going nuts, 22k per spin. Jeez, the growth serum is at 1.8 times. 13k on that windmill. I didn't think those windmills were going to do anything, but we're up to 2 mil right now. I really just put the windmills down as like an afterthought. They're getting value from the uh, eggs though. It's boosting them by 1.45, 1.25. And then they're just getting a lot of action. Spin's crazy. I'm just uh, soaking it all in, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I'm taking a sip of water, but I don't know what's going on, dude. I just saw a time 64. I'm seeing some crazy things going on. 5 million out of 500,000. Can someone explain what's going on? I'm seeing times 164 over here, I think. The windmills are getting 35k per. Up to 7 mil. I don't know why exactly, but I'm not complaining. Investment bonk plus the A carton combo is giving us good value. We're still going, we're still getting headshots. Could put some more bouncers over here, this area. I'll just keep this going forever. The windmill is just unstoppable. 41k and 31k. Under gold mine, sure. Here. Oh, this is a good spot for it. I guess one of the chickens got destroyed. Egg near the windmills, can we? No. That like here, I guess. I don't know. Another egg. I actually don't like the eggs because they're filling up space. Wisening wands. Put that near the eggs. If that bonks the eggs, then it will increase their... My volume's are too loud, so I can't really hear myself. I just hear booms in the background. It wasn't a problem for most of the run, but it's becoming a problem. A jump rope. 
Like here, sure. No, thank you, egg. I will say I'm not sure how good butterfly is on this wheel. It's like when it gets to the top, it's just no value, right? It's just giving us 800 from the perk. But other than that, it's like pretty trash. I still don't know why gross serums at 2.2 times. I really wish I knew so I could, you know, give some more insight as to what's happening. I'm like, what is proccing gross serum? I just haven't really been watching. Bomb Goblin giving us some good value. Do not sleep on the Bomb Goblins. Respecting the Bob Goblin's power. Last spin, I think. Let's put a top hat down here, sure. Big numbers. Times 256 was that from the cave, I think? Holy crap. What is going on? Jump rope doing a little juggle action. I don't know, dude. I don't know anymore. I'm trying to do commentary, but I really have no idea what's going on. We won, you guys. We beat the tribute. Can I see the statistics? So windmill got us 8 mil, caves got us 3.6, gold mine got us 2.8. So the cave strat did actually end up paying out. If I could have filled that 8 carton earlier, it would have got us way more value, I think. I just couldn't put the caves exactly how I wanted them, but oh well. I'm not complaining. That was a good run.